to the concepts that we've seen when we're filtering in other areas of the application, I think it's important to know how that translates to filtering and reports. So there's a wide variety of stock reports and, and many customers have custom reports in the application. So um, Noah, I'm really interested to see what you have to show us here. Thank you. So again, I'm just gonna search for a report. I'm going to look at the top inventory items and this is a stock nav report. And if you've run any stock nav reports, you've probably had experience with this options section because many times you have to select criteria here in order to be to run a report. And once you select something here and you hit preview, we, we call that running it wide open. So you're looking for all information that fits this criteria. So today I wanna look at my largest uh, investment, um, top 10 items in inventory. I'm gonna select preview. And here's my answer. So I run, the, run this wide open with uh, that, that, those options. But what if I wanna look at this a different way? So in this bottom section here, we can use filters in the same way that we did with lists. So here I decided that, again, I wanna look at my, highest, my top 10 investment items in inventory, but I wanna look at raw material in the blue location. I'm able to narrow that down. And now I get, you can see I've got a different answer here. So again, just some additional ways to leverage um, filters in the application to really drill down on the information that's important to you, do additional analysis and look at data different